Yes, I upgraded. Okay, random exit to title. I updated my torches to aluminium torches with the sulphur I remembered I had in there. They're brighter, so they're better. I'll probably just pulverize the other torches for but I'll carry them around for a bit anyway. Today we are going to be starting some automated mining because I realize I am hurting for some resources. And we're better to automated mine than my mining gauge. Let me, let me go down the ladder. There we go down the ladder. So let's take the redstone engine. Now I have to get there. My other engine isn't running, so I suppose I can break this for a minute. There we go. Point laggy for some reason. Oh well. And I got the cobble generator up and running. I thought about moving it down here to the to near the aqueous accumulator so that I could just get smooth stone, but then I thought, what if I don't want smooth stone? What if I actually want cobble? So I might do that if I'm going to rebuild the house in stone bricks or something. And I'll, yeah, I'll leave that there. I'm just going to put it right next to what I'm going to auto mine with. Okay, I will need a lever though, but I have the stuff to make that. Here. Wood. Lots of wood. I've bred a few of my cows, not many. And I... Is the descriptive book for auto mining agent there? Yes, it is. I think I have. Do I have a linking book in here? No, but I have the materials to make a book stand, and I know I have a book in there from when I first visited the age. So, let's go through. And yeah, I do have one there. If I don't, I'd be stuck here. Which would not be good. There it is. Take you. And I need my cr pocket crafting table. And I need to move that out of the way. See? Okay. I need some sticks. That's not the recipe. that is. And because it's in my inventory, when you exit the crafting table it doesn't go it doesn't spew on the ground, which is quite nice. Okay. So I'll probably expand this little island a bit and get on with what I'm trying. So I'll take that there. I want a well believe it or not, mining well. So, I need an... I'll wait for it to load. Okay. Why did you just... Okay. Right click shows you the uses. So to make it, I need a bit of redstone, some iron, some iron, an iron gear, and an iron pick. Make that. I need a stone gear to make a stone gear. I need a wood gear, which is four sticks, which I can do like that. You. Yeah. I have plenty of cobblestone now because of my igneous extruder. And I looked up what the glacial participator did. It uses power to turn water into either snow or ice. Now I'm not going to craft the iron thing, the iron pickaxe here, because I know I have one in the overworld from, I think it was the spider spawner. In here, and this slowness is pretty bad. Not in that chest. Here is iron pickaxe. And I can actually use a proper crafting table now. There we go, my bit, my thing sort of took itself out. There we go. So, you, 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 you. 
I need redstone. Redstone in the top. And so, how the mining well works is you feed it buildcraft power, which is the same stuff thermal expansion machines, aka the stuff over there, runs off, which is mainly the type of machines I'm going to use. I'll run off that power anyway until I get fairly far in the game. And it puts the items it mines out the top. Now I've chosen this rather than, say, a mining, a industrial craft mining well. A, because it's cheaper for the, for the moment, and B, because it can go through water. Whereas if a mining well hits, whereas if a inchworm drive with block breakers on the front, which inchworm drives, for those of you who don't know, move themselves forward forever, rather than just moving themselves along frames like some other things. Okay, so let's move it over to this side, place it there. Place the redstone engine there, so that if, I, if needed I can expand the design by putting more mining wells to the side. Place cobble there, and I don't want to push the lever on it yet, because then it will start spewing items out the top chest. Okay, do I actually need more than one chest? Hmm. I can probably just go for two regular chests at the moment. If need be, I can upgrade them to iron chests. Again, showing me the uses. Yeah, it's just random water. Oh, that must be a Twilight Forest block. Yeah, that's Twilight Forest. Anyway. So. That sh there we go. I do like it when you can do that and it just goes into place for you. Quite nice. There we go. Now the chest is in place. I can hit the lever and you should see something coming out the bottom. I'll go down and show you. I know that produces power from when I first used it. It might take a while to have enough power to actually do anything though. So, let's get on with the next machine I'm going to make. So, is it night time? Yes it is. Let's go to sleep quick before any mobs spawn, because that would be annoying. So, good, my stats are back to normal. I chucked some more coal in this thing when it actually registers me clicking, and I have a lot of kerosene oil, which you can burn for a fuel. I'll probably just use a, I might use a tank and a liquid void pipe, or I might just destroy it. My cows are doing well, I should probably breed them again sometime soon. This stuff is doing quite well, I figured out you can't plant carrots on this, which is annoying. Because carrots are cool. And don't want to get caught up in there, or in the water. I want to go visit my bees. Okay. Okay, don't really want to know about access rules. Okay, the Marshy Queen probably needs a vine. Okay, you have lots of honeycomb. You have a bit of honeycomb. That's fine. So. What I'm doing is just getting lots and lots of drones, which will allow me to crossbreed and when I get advanced enough to suck their DNA out so that I can make the other bees better, which is what you do with bee breeding. You suck the DNA out of the useless ones and put it into the good ones to make them better. Okay. What do you use honeycomb for, I wonder? Wait for it to load. You can put it in there. You can use it to make an apiarist chest, which I have. You can put it in a carpenter to make crated honeycomb, which is basically squished. You can centrifuge it to get honey drop and beeswax. How do you make a centrifuge? Sen. Sen. 
centrifuge. I need copper, glass, and sturdy casing. How do we make the sturdy casing? I need bronze. Now, so that I don't get the wrong bronze and it doesn't show me any recipes, which sometimes it does, bronze is a mixture of copper and tin. And I have some there. I need eight, but I'm actually going to make six. 16 of this in total. So I need one, two, three. There we go. That gets that should get me no, I got that completely wrong. Yeah, this stuff is pretty expensive. Eleven. Twelve. 13. I wonder, do I have any other bronze, any other copper? Because there are two types of copper. Yes, I do. I should have... I won't have enough to get me 16. That's a problem. Because I, I actually need uh, several machines. Bronze. And I don't actually have enough to make the rest. So let's get one sturdy casing. There we go, sturdy casing. And I needed six copper on the sides, didn't I? That's annoying. What can I use sturdy casing for? I know there are some other machines I wanted. I wanted... Okay, I can make an anal... I can make two analyzers. They're further tier. I can make farming stuff, which farms for me. Forestry machines are quite bronze expensive, so I can make a carpenter, I want one of them. I can make a centrifuge, I want one of them, and I can make a squeezer. Carpenters are bronze, they are very expensive, but I can make a squeezer. But that isn't actually much use until I have a centrifuge. So, do I go mining in my dangerous cave of death, or do I make another mining outpost, or do I just wait for my mining well to work? I'll be back when I have the stuff I need, so I will see you later. Hello, we're back. I've been letting West run for a while, and it hasn't actually done anything, so I'm going to go into the overworld, get the other engine, and get the other engine that I'm not using, and chuck a coal coke in there, because that will make it work fast and for a long time and hopefully actually is it night really and because of the zoom out i can't tell how close i'm to bed it seems to be night every time i come back into the overworld quite annoying let me go down there we go Six, move forwards, jump to move faster, place. There we go. I might get some steam engines there eventually. And I can run you out. This is quite laggy. I'm going to check my view distance. Yeah, it might just be because I'm recording and that makes everything more laggy. Always does, always will. Might not if I get something other than easy bit I've heard from uh what's his YouTube name? One of the other guys at Zed's Productions that easy bit makes you lag. Not actually sure it does, but so what I have now is the tier two build crafts engine, the Sterling engine. The only other bit the only other build craft engine, not thermal expansion or one of the other build craft mods that uses build craft energy is a combustion engine which uses oil have found some don't have a pump yet so 
I'm going to grab one coal coke and stick it in. Actually, I'll grab two. Shouldn't need more than that to get. That. Why am I going outside? I don't need to go outside. This craft confuses me because you have a book that teleports you to another dimension, not portal. It's just annoying. Anyway, we are back in this world. This should mine out pretty instantly, because engines do. Swim up. Move back towards land. Don't jump off the other side. Nine. What? I didn't click. What? There we go. Nine. I hate slowness. Messes everything up. Everything. Place. Are you facing the right way? Yes, you are. Go coal coke. Oh yeah, that's moving faster already. And look, you can see it mining. It's going. That little thing is what should have happened. It also brings light to the bottom of the ocean, which I find quite cool. And in a couple... There we go, mined out the sand block. It will keep doing that until it hits something like obsidian or lava, both of which it can't handle. Then if I do that then I need to, there we go, it's heading down. For some reason it's putting them in, oh I know why. So it is dumping into that inventory, which is there to there. But when a player looks at it, they're viewing both chests inventories together, there to there. But it's only dumping in bat inventory, which is annoying. Anyway. Okay. I'm, go I'm actually going to see, can I use the squeezer at the moment, even though I don't have a centrifuge? What can I use honeycomb for? Because what I really want to get is get some beeswax, because then I can transport liquids around. Centrifuge. Uses of honey drop. Carpenter squeezer. Do you show me the recipes? Yes, you do. I can squeeze various things that carry to get them out. Why I do you do that? I don't know. Probably so you can destroy the can and get the material back from it. Sometimes. Lots and lots of liquids. There we go. You can get drops. They're further into bees. Propolis further into bees again. More cans. Ooh, what was that? Phosphor and sand gets me lava. Phosphor and dirt gets me lava. I think we get phosphor from bees. I can squeeze various stuff into seed oil, which is used in the carpenter. I can you can squeeze seeds into seed oil. You can see you can squeeze most types of seeds actually. Melon into seed oil. Cobble and phosphor again. You can squeeze cacti into water, apparently. Crushed ice, whoa! Ice shard and snowball gets a lot of crushed ice. What an absolute crushed ice is to use for. Anyway, short mead from a bottle. Eloquent seeds can be used for seed oil, but such a tiny amount. Why there are so many eloquent seeds, I don't know. Eloquent seeds, eloquent seeds, eloquent seeds, eloquent seeds. No, they were corn seeds, corn kernels. Uh, when it loads, corn kernels makes a tiny amount of seeds. I'd be better off using actual seeds. Manila. Flax makes, again, a tiny amount. I might use some of that. Seeds makes a tiny amount again. I think it's because there are probabilities. And mod author is planning to do something. I can squeeze burning propolis to get fire shards. The, that's from the magic bees mod, which is farmcraft and forestry put together. Quite cool. Magic wax capsules again. The water one gets me magic wax and water. Uh, any other stuff I can actually use? It's showing me all the magic wax capsules now. 
lots and lots of stuff. Void capsules, they can hold a lot actually. Eight buckets. They hold a lot. I think you make them with farm craft, which I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing. That stuff I will definitely want to get into is liquid DNA, or as I know it, BNA, because it's BDNA, so it's BNA. Heliquin seeds make, I mean, they have a chance to make a fairly high amount. And we're back to the start, so yes, I might make a squeezer. Can you make a squeezer again? Squeezer. If it types out. There we go, squeezer. How do you make a squeezer? Oh, it uses tin. Let's go make one of them and put it in my thing. How much stuff do I have in here? Use some iron, some coal, and some monazite. I'll take that, certainly. I can refine that. Coal can make coal cokes, but I can use to fuel it. The trick for using mining wells and stuff is making sure that you get as much out of what you dig out as possible. There we go. Why that didn't go up there, I don't know. There we go, moving properly again. Let's stick you in there. I might start farming cocoa seeds eventually. I'll figure out what to do with the rest of this. I'm pretty sure I can shut... It's day! It's day when I come back from a mistcraft age. Impossible, but true. Let's chuck you in there, and monazite. There we go, you're cooking up iron. Thank you for the iron. And it doesn't know how to cook up forsicum, I don't think. No, it can't cook up forsicum. Which is used to make force fields. Let's take that. And I have a lot of fertilizer, I'm pretty sure I said why in the last episode. Okay, shall. What to do, what to do. Ah yeah, I was going to make a squeezer. To, I think I have everything I need to do that in my inventory. That is, that is laggy. That is lag. That is proper laggy. Order. Let's head outside and chuck this coal in there. I want the wax capsules soon, because when my coal coke oven fills up with kerosene oil, I won't be able to do anything with it, meaning I will be out of coke coals, which are the best fuel in the game as far as I'm concerned. Although you do have to keep mining to get coal. Anyway, so, Tim. Good thing about this crafting table as well, is you can leave the stuff in there if you forget something. See, I just forgot glass, or glass, however you want to pronounce it. I don't particularly think it matters. Oh, lagging, not nice. Do I have glass? No, I do not. Do I have sand? No, I do not. I will chuck... I need two glass. One, two, three, four. So, actually there was probably some sand, oh well, I've got more coal than I ought to do with. I'll be back once I have the, once I'm ready to build the thing. So I will be back very, very shortly. Hello, we're back. And, uh, yeah, I, I actually finished building it. Okay, I need some seeds to squeeze next. I have quite a you flax seeds. I have more flax seeds than I know what to do with at this point, which is a good thing. This is the squeezer. You stick seeds in it. And it squeezes them. But I need to put power into the thing. I need to put power into the thing. Because it doesn't actually have any power yet, because I haven't turned the machine that's the, 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 the steam engine on. What was that? That is charcoal, okay. One cocoa should be enough for this. After this, I'll go check on my mist craft age, and probably between episodes stand AFK until it stops mining.
because AFK is good for keeping stuff like that working. When I have a carpenter, I can do a whole lot more with bees, because I can make a bealizer, which allows me to actually use the bees, which allows me to actually know what the bees are missing, rather than just guessing and using what I know of bees already. Anyway. So, what I like doing, what well, machines are run good, power's flowing into that, the power is the little blue line. If there's nowhere for it to go, it expands into a big line and then I, the machine break, the engine breaks and I have to hit it with that, which is a build prop wrench. So, it is squeezing, that is empty at the moment, it's about there I reckon. It's very slow, because forestry machines are. I'll probably get a lot into forestry, because it's a good mod. Anyway, while that's going, do I have enough stuff to make any more Zycorium, what, what's it called, Earth, so that I can get more farms up and running? As the farms I've got outside are working very well. Saplings, iron, engineering bricks. I, I think I was missing green zycorodite last time. Wrong chest. I wasn't missing that much green zycorodite. Might have been missing cobble. Zycorium soil. Green engineering brick. Yeah, I was probably missing stone. Actually. Yeah, I was missing stone bricks. Walnut now nah, wasn't missing iron. Pretty sure I had enough iron last time I did when I did that. That's tin. There's iron. One good thing about stone bricks, you can make them just in your inventory. And you never end up with split and the same number of bricks. And one stone equals one stone brick if you have enough to actually turn it in. So as long as you have a multiple of four in stone bricks, you're fine. Okay, that. Redstone, Zycorodite, I need redstone. Ugh. Anyway, so if you're wondering, Zycraft doesn't have much machines. It has that awesome soil, but it doesn't have any machines. That's because Zycraft is, a bait, is an alpha mod, which is earlier than beta. So it doesn't have everything it's supposed to yet. It will though. It will. Given time. It will. Yeah, I'm probably running a bit low on Zycorodite. Which means I have to mine. Give me engineering bricks. I have 16 engineering bricks. That means I can get couple soil. How do you make Zy soil again? You need saplings and iron. I think I might only get four Xy soil from this. Iron in the middle. And saplings aren't the best saplings are in here. Let's use redwood saplings because I have tons of them. No, I have an eight. Anyway. That is the alarm going off. I don't know whether you heard that, but it was quite loud. Louder than I remember when I tested it out. Anyway, so that tells me that I've passed 29 minutes, possibly a bit more, because when you pause an episode and then restart, you don't always hit the two buttons at the same time. Anyway, so let's place these soils down, check on the chest, and then I will have to end this episode. So, do I have any flax seeds or stuff in my inventory? No, I don't. I will have to go get them. Horror of horrors, I have to go get something. I need flax and regular seeds. I should have enough flax for this. If not, I'll steal a little bit from the carpenter. Right, quad stack. 
as you can tell, it gives you a tiny amount of seed oil. You need a lot of seeds, that's why you get into tree breeding, so you can get more seed oil. Or you could just, if or if you're not using seed oil as a fuel source, or to help you get a fuel source, you don't need to bother, because farms are fine really, they're just a bit slow. Are these flats? Those are not flats, oh well. Ah oh yeah, I remember, I plant, I made this a... What? What did, why did you just pop out? That makes no sense, I didn't hit you, I don't think. There we go. Did you just pop out? Oh, is Flax just popping out of this stuff now? Why doesn't Flax want to grow? Annoying. Yeah, Flax doesn't want to grow, I'll have to grab some Helicon. Which is annoying, because Flax is so much better. So I'll put these Flax seeds back in there, grab Heliquin. And keep planting. Which sounds like something a farm would say. Keep on planting in a Dorset actor, which I'm terrible at. So, I used the, the corn in the last ring. So I'll use wheat and heliquin on this ring. So that I have a nice varied crop. Lots of food, better wheat. Can't plant carrots on there, so it appears the amount of stuff I can plant on there is fairly limited. I don't know whether you can plant potatoes on, my, on them, and I don't actually have any potatoes. Okay, yeah, it's going to be quite expensive to finish that farm. Zai soil is expensive. Very expensive. Just a random stuff. Order it. I might end up pulverizing, pulverizing the furnace for cobble. Not that I ever need cobble again, because I have the igneous extruder, which, while the episode has been running, and while I was AFK waiting for the for me to start the episode, has almost filled up a chest. Well done, igneous extruder. We applaud you for working without needing any fuel. And the carpenter, if I can get into its inventory, is being slow, because carpenters are slow. It's what they do. They are the slowest machines in the world. They're probably a great type of machine that's slower, but they're the slowest machine I've used. Yeah, they are actually. Yeah, they are actually the slowest. So, when we're back next episode, I might be able to do a little bit more on bees. Because hopefully I'll have some more stuff to make the stuff to do bee stuff. Which is kind of confusing. Ah uh, yeah, you need to be here for it to run. So, that's me signing off episode 5 or 6, I might be the beast, I can't remember. Anyway, I'm signing off, goodbye. <laughs>